Alright everyone, welcome back to another video. So here we have a Honda Pilot. You can see we got some basic oxidation, nothing crazy. We got some stress cracks right here in the middle, which is pretty common on these kinds of lights, uh, on the older ones. Uh, you could see the headlight's pretty big, and when you have a, a pretty big headlight, it's kind of weaker in the middle. But other than that, we're basically going to use a 400, get all, all this oxidation removed. And reapply the new clear coat. And you can see them, they're pretty bad right here. I don't know if you can pick them up on the camera, but yeah, they are really, really bad, the stress cracks. So what I'll do is uh, hit it with the 400. It's going to remove any other scratches and finish with the 600 before applying the clear coat. So it should look like new by the time we're done. You can see that right here. Pretty bad. Pretty bad micro cracks right there. I can actually feel it. So I got to be a little bit soft on that because I can see that they're pretty thick those micro cracks right there so let's do it hello everyone brad here with start with starting highlights.com and welcome back to another video thank you all so much for tuning in so today's video i want to answer some questions because i am getting a lot of emails people asking me when the new site is launching questions about the new brand and just in general where i've been what's going on am i still alive <laughs> so i want to make this video to answer some questions uh, I am getting a lot about the headlight restoration business in general, and I've noticed I'm getting a lot about the difference between wet sanding and dry sanding. And to be completely honest, there's not a big difference. It really comes down to preference. No one is really superior. Again, it just comes down to what you're doing when it comes to restoring the headlight. So two things need to happen when you're restoring a headlight. One, you have to get down to the raw headlight and two, the restoration process itself, whether it be polishing or applying a new clear coat. So those are the two things that need to happen. So as long as you're getting down to the bare headlight, and what I mean by that is as long as you're removing the oxidation, removing this, the old clear coat, the scratches, uh, any imperfections caused by road debris or anything like that, you're, you're good. That is like the main goal when it comes to restoring a headlight. Because obviously when you're doing that, you have to make sure that you're starting with a clean canvas. You're not gonna polish a headlight when you still have a bunch of chips and, and oxidation and everything on it. That's not a correct headlight restoration. So one or two things need to happen. You need to remove all of that and then the restoration process itself. And obviously there's a lot of different methods you can do that with. I prefer wet sanding because I can track my progress real time. As I'm spraying, I'm looking close to this specific spot that I'm spraying at and I can see if there's any oxidation left over and if there's any old clear coat left over. This helps me save time because when I was dry sanding, I couldn't really see that. So there's kind of a stigma where you have to remove a bunch of layers of, of the headlights to get down to the headlight when that's not actually true. It's actually very, very easy. And this is why I have challenged people to try wet sanding themselves. As long as you're starting with a the correct course uh, of grit sandpaper it should be very very quick meaning removing the scratches removing the oxidation is very very fast as long as you're starting with the correct grit now if you're if you have a headlight that's pretty severely oxidized and you're starting with like a 2000 grit sandpaper it's going to take you a lot longer to get down to that bare headlight so this is why i always start with a 400 and then move on to the 600 in some cases 320 if you have followed me for quite a bit of time you've seen me Start with 320 for some of the vehicles that clear coat that's still pretty intact. So every single headlight is different. With this method, with applying the clear coat, it's really 90% prep, 10% spraying. It's very, very easy to apply the clear coat. It's not hard. It really comes down to how well you prepped the headlight. Meaning, did you remove all the old uh, clear coat? Did you remove the old oxidation? Did you remove all the imperfections from the road debris, the chips, the scratches? So, Definitely take, you know, keep that in mind when you are doing a restoration. It's huge how well you prep the headlight. So in a nutshell, I prefer wet sanding, not just because I can track my progress, but also the cleanliness. Uh, when I was doing the dry sanding, anytime I would get a big gust of wind, uh, it would kind of blow the, the, the dust everywhere. And in some cases it would even blow on like the back of the car. So it was kind of a pain when it came to, you know, the, the finishing up process, you know, checking the vehicle, make sure it's clean before you leave and making sure everything is good to go. Because the last thing you want is to kind of make another issue for the customer. You know, if they come out after you do the job and the car is really dirty, they have to go get a car wash. You know, it's, it's not good. Uh, <laughs> it's not good business practice. So 
and and also for me it was less prep work anytime you're using a drill obviously you need to tape up kind of everything because if the drill catches or something like that you could definitely cause some pretty good uh, damage to the bumper or the body panels the grill so you have to be really careful when it comes to sanding with a, a drill and if you're experienced obviously it's very very easy but if you're kind of a one-time person you know coming out to restore your headlights on your own personal car uh, it could be kind of kind of a pain if uh, if you do that by accident if you accidentally sand the, the the body panels of the car so that's one other reason why I did switch for me it was just just preference for me you know based on my experience it's a lot easier and more efficient to wet sand because it's very very easy just you know 400 600 is the method that I use probably maybe probably 80 percent of the time and the other times are usually intact clear coat which I don't run into that often but I still run into it but even then it doesn't take me that long to get down to the bare headlight so Moving on, I want to talk to you guys about the website. Right now, one of the biggest hiccups is our shipping. Some of you who have ordered kits have noticed that it's taking a pretty good amount of time for the headlight kits to arrive. And I am working on switching from USPS to UPS right now, and it's kind of a pain. <laughs> I won't get into it, but uh, the website's good to go. The boxes should be in within the next few weeks, and I'm hoping to launch within probably the next month, month or two and we'll be good to go. I got a lot of exciting stuff that I'm working on for you guys and I cannot wait to bring it to you. Thank you all so much for being patient with me and I will see you in the next one. All right guys, so you can see the headlight is at the perfect texture for me to apply the clear coat. I am using the Next Gen Headlight Solutions Headlight Restoration Clear Coat. Uh, all you have to do is sand it to a 600. You don't have to polish or anything like that. So I'm basically just gonna spray about four inches from the headlight in just even strokes and pretty much apply a really, really thick layer um, of protection on the headlight as well. So do it. Okay, so here's the finished product. I just applied the clear coat. So you can see those stress cracks right here pretty good. Let me get the camera to focus here. But anyway, uh, they're much more present when looking at them from the side, but not nearly as present when looking at them straight forward. You still see those micro cracks and everything right there. I was very, very easy on that. Uh, still a lot of tiny scratches, like micro cracks and everything deeper into the headlight. It's something that I couldn't get out because again, you can see these are not your normal uh, scratches. These are micro cracks, the early stages of micro cracks. So they start out with these tiny little cracks and then they turn into these big stress cracks. So fortunately that is inevitable, nothing you can do about that, but you can at least make it look better. You can see it looks much, much better and the cracks aren't nearly as visible as they were, but I'm trying to get as close as I can without the camera hopping out of focus. So. But yeah, other than that, it came out great. Let it sit here for about 10 minutes. It'll be tack free, and then I'll have the customer actually reverse the vehicle because the sun is rising uh, behind it. So, thanks for watching.